We have the first images from Florida of that cavernous sinkhole that swallowed a home and a young man in his bedroom. And ABC's Gio Benitez shows us he is there. This is our first look at the massive sinkhole that swallowed up 37-year-old Jeff Bush while sleeping in his bed. Look closer. Authorities tell ABC News the sinkhole, about 30 feet wide and 100 feet deep, could well extend underneath the two neighboring homes, both less than 40 feet away. There is no one allowed in those homes, and there will be a determination made if they're condemned in the coming weeks. Earlier today, crews used heavy machinery to recover some of Bush's personal items from the bedroom, carefully collecting his jacket and hat from the wall. But Jeremy Bush is frustrated his brother remains buried in the rubble. They got this big equipment. Why can't somebody be harnessed up on that equipment and try, try and rescue them? Authorities say that's just too dangerous. Any additional loss of life would have made this tragedy even worse. So today, that machine ending the demolition by sending flowers for Mr. Bush down into what is now his grave. As crews now fill this sinkhole with gravel to stabilize it, we've learned a new sinkhole opened up just hours ago here in the same town. This one, we're told, did not hurt anyone. New video has just been released showing the Florida sinkhole that swallowed a man as he slept in his bedroom. County officials released the footage showing a large dark hole that opened up inside the home of Jeff Bush. The 36-year-old's brother, who was in the house at the time, tried frantically to get him out, but was unable to. Bush died and rescue teams were not able to retrieve his body. Demolition crews leveled the house and filled the sinkhole, which is believed to have been as much as 60 feet deep. The two houses next to the bushes were condemned after engineers found additional sinkhole activity at both sites. We don't want to begin with this morning with that massive sinkhole in Florida. Demolition crews are outside the house to tear it down. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is there for us. Gabe, good morning. Well, Esther, good morning. Engineers have determined that this site is entirely unstable, and so now demolition is underway. This is the first look we've gotten inside the house. Authorities abandoned their rescue and recovery efforts after finding no signs of life. With a sinkhole expanding beneath this house, rescue crews say they have no choice but to demolish the home today. The growing cavern is at least 30 feet wide and 50 feet deep, and they don't know when it will stop. We've met with the family, we advised them of that, and that at this point we have to move beyond the rescue to a demolition phase. Word that the victim may never be recovered hit the tight-knit community hard. Family members of 36-year-old Jeff Bush, who plunged into the sinkhole as he slept in his bedroom and is presumed dead, gathered with neighbors to console one another. I, I knew whenever the fire department or nobody would go inside the house, that was his last resting place, and that's where he would be for the time being. For those living in houses near the sinkhole, it's a scramble to safety. How long can I give you, ma'am? 30 minutes. Some families given just a half hour to collect their belongings and leave. It rips, it just rips my heart out that, that people that I've lived next door to for 21 years had to leave. And it just, they have a lot of memories in their house also. Again, demolition is now underway. Authorities plan to allow the family to retrieve some of their belongings after demolishing parts of the house. Demolition is expected to continue into tomorrow, and then they'll decide how to fill the hole to stabilize the area. Lester. Right, Gabe Gutierrez for us in Florida this morning. Thanks. A Tampa area man is feared dead after the ground below him basically swallowed him alive while he was sleeping. Right after the ground started to give way, his home, in his side, inside his home, well, the man's brother frantically tried to keep him from sinking into the hole. Now, the brother was saved by a first responder. We now know the name of the man inside, Jeffrey Bush. Now, when help first arrived on the scene, a uh, deputy saw Bush's brother trying to rescue him, but he wasn't able to. The sinkhole that opened below his bedroom is believed to be about 100 feet wide, and rescue efforts had to be put on hold when officials determined the house too unstable. That means rescuers can't go inside, and WTSP suggests, unfortunately, 
That means more bad news for the man trapped inside. They've sent in listening devices. They've also sent in a couple of cameras, listened for sounds. So all they could hear were sounds of the house wrenching and collapsing. They could not pick up any sounds of the man himself. Though there hadn't been any signs of a looming sinkhole, CNN reports they're not uncommon in Florida since the state sits on a bedrock of carbonate rock, which acidic groundwater can eat into. A two-year-old child and four other people had been in the home, though they managed to escape. Nearby homes have been evacuated. We'll continue to follow this story. Thanks for watching Newsy. I'm Christina Hartman. This morning, engineers in Florida are working on a plan to fill a sinkhole with a deadly past. Drone video gives us a look inside the hole in Sefner, Florida, just outside Tampa. It reappeared in the same spot where a sinkhole swallowed a man two years ago while he was sleeping. Emerald Morrow of our Tampa Bay affiliate WTSP is in Sefner, Florida. Emerald, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. People who live in this neighborhood say they are shocked to see this sinkhole reappear and they're concerned that it could spread. This new sinkhole has shaken neighbors. That kind of made you unsettled because you think, you know, it could happen anywhere else around here. But officials say the surrounding community is safe. We've had the engineering firm out here to evaluate it. And the most important thing is that there is no danger to any other homes. Jeremy Bush got emotional when talking about his brother Jeffrey, who was killed in the very same spot almost two and a half years ago. And I think about it every day. There ain't a day that goes by that I don't think about it. On February 28th, 2013, Jeffrey was asleep in his bedroom when the earth started to collapse underneath the home. Jeremy was also home and heard his brother screaming for help. He jumped into the growing sinkhole to try and save him, but could not reach his brother. Jeremy was rescued by a sheriff's deputy. Jeffrey's body was never found. I come back here every day to be by my brother. I didn't get to say bye to him. The Bush home, along with two neighboring houses, were demolished afterwards. The hole was filled with gravel and the area fenced off. CBS News science contributor and physics professor Michio Kaku says record rainfall in the area and the nature of the state's geology may explain the reopening of this sinkhole. The state of Florida is perhaps based almost entirely on limestone, a form of carbonate rock, which is porous. Water comes in, will dissolve the limestone, leaving an undergone cavity that is not visible from the surface. Now officials here say engineers are working on a plan to fix this site and the county does have plans to start filling in the hole within the next week with the hopes that this sinkhole does not reopen once again. Gail. Thank you, Emerald. We just got the, uh, the, the uh, recording of the 911 call that was made. I'm going to play it, John, and then we'll discuss. Listen to this. We need an ambulance and a cop buddy stuck underneath the house. The house just fell through. Okay, and what happened to the house? Um, the, the bedroom floor just collapsed, and my brother-in-law is in there. He's underneath the house. Okay, hold on one second. Let me connect this with the EMS, okay? Okay. Hold well, on me... All right, so there it is. Uh, you can see uh, the shock uh, and the pain in the voice. Uh, you know, you know this. It's almost unbelievable how how this happened. Uh, how extraordinary is this? Because uh, you've covered these sinkhole episodes in Florida over the years. Yeah, you know, it's a, Florida has a limestone base under it, and when you get uh, running water in that limestone over time, uh, it can begin to deteriorate the limestone and collapse that limestone base. But I can tell you, listen to that 911 call. Wolf, those people had no idea that who knows how long this has been going on. Now to the town of Sefner, Florida, near Tampa, where last night the earth opened up, as it does increasingly and thousands of times every year in this country. This time it swallowed a 37-year-old man as he slept in his home. Our report tonight from NBC's Gabe Gutierrez. In his bed, one minute. Gone, the next. All I see was the tops of his bed. Jeremy he Bush says he heard a loud crash, then his brother Jeffrey screaming late last night at their home near Tampa. He jumped into the massive hole in a desperate attempt to rescue his brother. And I couldn't get him. All I could hear was, I thought I could hear him screaming for me and holler for me to help him. I couldn't do nothing. 
Remarkably, outside, the house looks like nothing happened, but inside. The open hole is about 30 feet in diameter, and it's about 20 feet deep. While sinkholes like these in Ohio, Minnesota, Utah, and this one in Guatemala often grab headlines, they are most often reported in these seven states, Texas, Alabama, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, and they're especially common in Florida, where more than 15,000 sinkholes have been recorded. Last May, this huge hole swallowed an entire backyard near Orlando. Last June, another destroyed an entire home. While experts say many things can cause them, in Florida, it's a domino effect. The state's sandy soil, on top of clay, supported on a deep layer of limestone, can suddenly collapse due to a dramatic shift in Florida's unique underground rivers. Florida essentially sits on a, a system of caverns that are filled with water to some degree, and um, as that water moves up and down, uh, it uh, erodes those caverns, and from time to time they collapse. Back near Tampa, engineers are trying to explain what happened here, trapping a man in his own home without warning. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Sefner, Florida. Unsafe and unstable. The house just fell through. There are growing fears surrounding a sinkhole that already swallowed a man as he slept. My heart goes out to the family. Tonight, hear from the deputy who risked his life to keep this tragedy from getting worse. Good evening, I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Linda Hurtado. Wendy has a night off. Crews remain on scene tonight, monitoring the sinkhole hidden inside that house, worried the whole thing could come down at any moment. Now, we want to give you a better idea of where this is at. It's in Sefner, just south of Wheeler Road on Faithway Drive. We have team coverage tonight. We begin with Jacqueline and Glace, who joins us live outside the house to explain what's going on right now. Jacqueline? Jamison, workers just put up these very bright lights you're seeing here behind me. That is going to help them keep an eye on this house overnight. But to the dismay of this man's family, they've stopped drilling and suspended their search for the night. Given the size of the hole, I cannot tell you why it has not collapsed yet. As darkness set in, danger and instability brought the search for Jeffrey Bush to a standstill. Asleep in his bedroom, the 36-year-old was swallowed up by a sinkhole 24 hours ago. This is not your typical sinkhole. This is a chasm that covers a great distance. This is actually unprecedented. With precious time ticking by, Jeff's family is watching in frustration from across the street. As engineers and sinkhole experts using ground penetrating radar and other tests try to figure out how and if they'll ever reach Jeff. Right now, it's 30 feet wide and 25 feet deep. And I cannot in good conscience have additional people on this site. Soil samples show just underneath the house there is extremely soft sand, followed by soft clay and then limestone, leaving rescuers with no solid ground to stand on. The soil cannot hold the slope that it has right now, so we do expect the sinkhole to continue to, to grow. Cameras and audio equipment sent down are still not picking up signs of life. My heart goes out to the family. Now, the two homes adjacent to this one had to be evacuated. As of right now, those people still don't know when or if they'll be able to get back into their homes. Now, right now, I'm going to send it over to our Chris Trankman with the dramatic events that happened right when this, after this hole opened up. Chris?